It's Friday! Wait, no, it's Thursday, and I am here with a new makeup release video. What? I told you guys I want to keep you guys on your toes, but yes, guys, it's Thursday! And in today's video, we are talking about all the new makeup releases and whether or not we think they're worth it. I missed last week's episode, so I have two weeks worth of makeup to catch up with you guys. So you guys want to see what my thoughts are on all the new makeup releases. Are we going to get them? Are they worth it? Well, then definitely keep watching. Kind of threw myself off there with the intro. Um, y'all, I'm frustrated. This eye right here, she is being a little bitch. She's being a little bitch. Because she wanted to keep watering, which caused my mascara to clump together and then spread over my eye. And then I tried to wipe it off and it just became this. Five, six coats later, it just, it's just, she's just not wanting to work with me. So just ignore her, okay? So guys, I, I told you guys earlier this week that I was going to have my new makeup release video out today. Well, when I got my new Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette, it kind of changed things around because that video was supposed to come out tomorrow, but it came out yesterday. So I'm still putting this video out today because I think, I think my ColourPop mystery box comes in tomorrow and you guys know how much I love my ColourPop mystery boxes. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in. I get all my information from Trend Mood, Point Click Vibes, New Indie Makeup Release, New Makeup Radar. I get all my information from there and I'm like, I'm, I get all my information. <laughs> get all my information from there so let's go ahead and dive straight on in so first off i want to quickly talk about these these are the newest jacqueline roxanne launch if you guys have not seen um you guys should really follow me on instagram i'm, I'm trying to get a little bit to posting on the stories but that's a work in progress but i digress did i say that right anywho um i actually got a massive pr box from jacqueline cosmetics Hill, Roxanne, Be Cozy. I don't really know. I got kind of a massive, like, I'm in a box. They sent me a new blanket, a set of pajamas, um, all the new, like, literally all the new lip glosses, blushes, liquid blushes, all the new Jack and Roxanne stuff, and a 40-ounce Stanley Cup tumbler. It was, like, the coolest freaking pre order package. I was so blown away. I am wearing the new pair of earrings right here. Um, these actually have a little bit of heaviness to them, so if you do have a little bit gaping, if you do have a little bit bigger holes, or you are sensitive to heavy earrings, these do have a little bit of weight to them, so you definitely can feel them sitting in your ears, just a heads up. But, um... I was, I was not expecting that, so I wanted to just show this off today because I thought it was the sweetest thing, and I will be featuring some of those products next week when I do a full face of first impressions. I will be having some of those products in there because I generally just did not expect it. I even said, I, I cursed in my video because I was just so blown away that I got like a Stanley cup, and then like to get all of Jaclyn Cosmetics, like I don't get Jaclyn Cosmetics in PR, y'all know that, so I was like, what is this? But it's the coolest thing, so I just wanted to give a quick little thank you to Jaclyn Hill, the team at Jaclyn Roxanne, because cozy and Jacqueline cosmetics for like the wonderful like all-encompassing PR box it was so cool all righty so let's go ahead and we're gonna dive into what I missed from last week so up first I see that Too Faced is launching a new cosmic crush collection so they're gonna have a cosmic crush eyeshadow palette a moon crush second skin glowy glow glossy glow highlighter and a lip injection a lip injection maximum plump lip gloss in cosmic crush these are be coming soon so they have not been released yet and you know i will say uh it's not a bad looking collection it's really not but i just don't know like how excited i am about this because you know the color story is pretty neutral and i definitely don't mind my neutrals i really don't it just has to like don't look at my pits don't look at my pits it just it just it just you know it kind of it just kind of depends it just kind of depends on like what mood I'm in that day, how the palette looks. And you know, this has like two pops of colors, the rest is neutral. Uh, I feel like Too Faced could have done so much more with this and I feel like they kind of dropped the ball. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna pass on this collection. Next, it looks like Give Me Glow Cosmetics is launching a new Juicy Blueberry palette. It's a 20, 26 mm square pan, 10 pan palette, comes with a multi-chrome foil, Baked Sail Queen, a rich blueberry base that shifts deep blue, purple, and magenta, and a sugared 
Blueberry Drizzle, a mix of four pastel multi-chrome pigments, eight creamy mattes, $45. It's going to be actually be launching tomorrow, June 30th. You know, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of intrigued. I only have one palette from Gimme Glow Cosmetics, and it is their Juicy Olive palette, and I absolutely love, I mean, like, I love that palette. It's a gorgeous, beautiful palette. It's, like, beautiful, like, olive -y tones. And... I distinctly remember reviewing that palette for one particular reason. Um, I cried, I think for the first time here on YouTube was in that video because I remember my cat Callie being a little sick. She had like bladder stones at the time. She was a little sick so I cried. My husband was at a concert by myself. I didn't care that he went to a concert but like dealing with her being sick I was kind of like this sucks about myself. And I was also watching A Handmaid's Tale like I think season two had come out that time and it was just very emotional season. So I distinctly remember that palette being in love with it. By the way, I have great memory on, there, on, on that one. Okay. So I'm kind of intrigued by this. Um, I'm, I'm, I might. I might pick it up. Um, even though it's not really the colors I use a lot, I'm definitely trying to branch out of my comfort zone a little bit. So I, that's something I'm going to actually be interested in picking up. Now this next palette, it is sold out. So I apologize for being a shitty content creator, not talking about it sooner. But a lot of you guys asked me if I got this, and I didn't because I've never tried anything from this brand. So I didn't pick this up, but... Cosmic Brushes released, released a Delights palette. It's 20, it's 20 beautiful, delicious, sweet inspired shades, six shimmers, 14 mattes, four shimmers are shifters. One of those is iridescent duochrome and one is a high shine foil and it retails for $25. And I never tried this, I never tried this brand, but I will say it's a beautiful, beautiful pastel palette. I know that like Angelica Nikfist reviewed it, Heather Austin reviewed it from what I saw. I didn't pick it up because like I said, I've never tried anything from this brand and I just didn't thing to get it honestly um i know a lot of you guys have asked if i pick this up but i just i missed it i missed out on it it looks really beautiful maybe next time i see one that kind of catches my eye maybe i'll try to grab it and be more mindful of it but you know i've just been having like a lot going on behind the scenes personally that i just i kind of like slipped my mind and then by the time i was like realizing like oh i could get this i i i, I, I missed it so next we have the new domini cosmetics this is the brow frame collection now i've already been talking to you guys about this i have been using mine every single day now i do want to let you guys know i am starting to notice something and i told you guys i'll keep you guys up to date but this is also why i'm doing my repurchase trash series so they launched like six new like eyeliner um eyebrow pencils with like a brow gel the brow gel works really wonderful and like this is really cool like i like how it's flat on one side but then you turn it and you can kind of line your lashes well i've been using this every single day i'm noticing that this part right here see you guys see that? Okay, yes, there is more in there. It's it's a little flimsy. Um, you have to be very careful how much you pull out and how much you use. So I am enjoying this, but I am noticing this is a little bit flimsy and it kind of reminds me of like the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners where they're super affordable, but they break super easily. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this right now. I will do another follow-up at the end of July to let you guys know truly what I think about this. While it's working great, it is kind of flimsy and I'm noticing that my product is kind of breaking and I've only been using it since Monday. So I'm kind of like, Get your shit together. Don't be breaking on me. Up next, it looks like Bare Minerals is releasing new Gin Nude Highlighting Blushes. So these are two-in-one blush and highlighters that combine the rosiness of a blush from the wit lit from within glow of a highlighter in one step. They retail for 26 and that's a really easy pass for me. Um, you guys know that like, I don't know, I never really talk about I never talk about bare metals on my channel. <laughs> like, it's not just not, I don't know. I just never have not really a thing. Um, nothing wrong with the brand. I remember I used to have to sell it all the time when I worked at Ulta. But, yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. It's an easy pass. And it doesn't excite me. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. This next brand intrigues me, but for, like, the wrong reasons. So, Sophia, Sophia Vicar is announcing her new beauty brand, Toto. T-O-T-Y. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Tuto? Tuti? Okay, Tati. So, 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 so Sofia Vigara is releasing their new brand, Tati. And it's going to come with like a mineral SPF, a CC cream, a infuser, an oxidant booster. It's going to be available as of now. And I'm actually not going to lie. I'm actually really intrigued by this brand only because I, I really do love Sophia. I love her so much. Corey and I recently started watching Modern Family. We start, we're on like season nine. We started this back like, I don't know, a couple months ago. So we're already on season nine. And I love her so much. And I don't know. This brand is like really pretty. So this is one of the things that I might honestly check out just to like support her and her brand. Because I love Sophia Vergara so much. She's beautiful. And her husband, Joe. <laughs> She got herself a man. So yeah, I am uh, 
I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Up next, this is nothing new to you guys because I already talked to you guys about this last week, but Glam Night did a collaboration with Rick and Morty. It launched last Friday. I already did a video for you guys if you guys have not checked it out. I absolutely loved, loved that collection. It was so colorful, so fun. I really do enjoy when brands collab with like other brands like that because it just like brings back my childhood like i i really hope that one day somebody does curse the cowley dog like no one ever talks about that show it gave me nightmares so i just want to see somebody do it and i absolutely love glam lights for like glam lights products and i really love how affordable they are we're having like a luxury feel fantastic fantastic brand i have been talking about them since literally 2018 i you guys know that i've always talked to you guys about glam light and i freaking love this brand and um yeah, I definitely think they're worth checking out. And what I really do admire about this brand too is that Giselle really wants her brand to be as affordable and as accessible as possible. So the people have kind of given shit for her brand being in TJ Maxx. She actually wants her brand to be in TJ Maxx because she talks about how when she could never afford makeup, she would go into TJ Maxx and spend what little money she could on brands in TJ Maxx. And that's the only way she was able to get her hands on them. And she wants people who necessarily can't always afford makeup to, to feel the exact same way that she did. So she's actually going to be partnering with TJ Maxx and creating collections specifically designed for TJ Maxx. You can only get them in there. I think it's I think it's admirable. I love her. I love her brand. I love what she stands for. And I have no problem shopping for makeup at TJ Maxx. My only problem I ever have is the one that I go to. One, it never has anything in it. But two, everything's always opened and used. I'm like, why? I'm like, why? Can I just like leave it alone? But yeah, no, I I have found some goodies there before. So I really loved, I really love them. And you guys obviously can use my code Allie D to save you guys 15% off when shopping at Glamline. Next, it looks like NYX did a collaboration with I'm a Barbie girl in a mommy world. Okay, so uh, ignore the singing, but yeah, NYX did a collaboration with Barbie and they released a Barbie mini palette for 12 a Barbie cheek palette, butter glosses, mirror phones, eye pencils, lashes. They released so much. And while I will say it's a cute collection, I'm definitely going to pass on this just because it's cute, but they could have done so much more with like the packaging. You know what I mean? Like I love, love the way that Glam Light did their Barbie collection. And I also love how ColourPop did their Barbie collection. And NYX, you tried. You tried. I would give NYX like a, a participation medal. Like, oh, you. <laughs> yes, you did that. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's cute, but that was a very easy pass. Okay, so next, Essence just released their new Positive Vibes Only collection. So the palette retails for $4.99, baked highlighter for $4.99, blush sticks, glow sticks, and lip mask. Super affordable. I would absolutely love to pick up this collection. I've really been enjoying Essence. Like, that Lion King palette, oh my god, it was so good. I'm like, damn, this brand has really great formula for the price point that it is beautiful palette i definitely think this palette right here this little green one like a little checkered and little checkered feel super pretty i would love to pick up this collection so i would absolutely get that next it looks like um disney did a collaboration with mooncat they did an alice in wonderland uh, nail polish collection so it's gonna have six special effect special effects light special effects lacquers for $15 each and I will say I think the colors are really pretty I do have um moon cats like hocus pocus collection and I thoroughly 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 enjoyed that nail polish I think it's super beautiful super pretty it definitely is like a learning curve to figure out how to get like the magnetic to like work whatever and I figured out the best way to do is like to lay the magnetic stick down put your finger on top of it and then paint that way you can get that distinct line of like a magnetic feel really fun to play with I love those like love 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 those those colors they don't have as long as like longevity as some other brands do but they work really beautifully and they create such pretty pretty nail polishes so I'd love to pick that up okay so up next it looks like Smashbox is releasing their always on the skin balancing foundation with hyaluronic acid and aptogens it's an innovative, long-wearing foundation with skin balancing oil control and hydration with that supports skin instantly and over time buildable coverage with a visibly even natural look and a 16-hour and a 16-hour true color wear. So it's a um, medium to full coverage, natural finish foundation that really does help to even skin tone, reducing the appearance of redness, blemishes, and imperfections. It's primer infused, it's wet, sweat, humidity, crease settle and transfer resistant there are 29 shades it retails for 46 dollars each and i'm gonna have to pick this up we're gonna have to pick this up and we're gonna have to really try this out the last few times i've ever tried anything from smashbox bullshit they never went well for me their primers i absolutely hated the foundations i did not like <laughs> and so i'm definitely gonna have to try this out if it says that it's going to be water sweat humidity crease settle and transfer resistant oh Oh, that's a challenge. 
that's a challenge that my oily skin is going to take on. We're going to take that on and I'm going to challenge it and we're going to wear it and we're going to wear it for over 12 hours. We're going to go out in the heat. We're going to go in the water. We're going to try to do crease tests. I'm going to touch my face something, see if it transfers. We're going to go all out and we're going to test out this bad boy. So as soon as it launches, I will absolutely pick out um, a foundation and do a wear test for you guys. Okay, so up next, uh, e.l.f. just did a collaboration with Michaela. If you guys don't know who Michaela is, she is a massive influencer over on TikTok. She has like 14.6 million followers over there. And she's definitely found herself in a lot of scandal this past year with like Lashgate and undisclosed ads and heavily using filters from what people are saying. And she's getting married this weekend because her content's all about her wedding, so I know all about it. But she just did a collaboration with Elf where she's releasing her marriage material lip duo, retails for $12, and it's gonna include a cream gel lip liner and an O-Face satin lipsticks. Now, this collection is sold out, like it's sold out within the hour. I did not personally pick it up because I, I don't think it's pretty. It's not my taste, but I also am very understanding that she made a color for her. She literally released a color for her. Now, you know, I can't knock her for it. Like I really can't knock her. I can't talk shit for her releasing color. That that, that was her perfect go-to wedding lip color. I really can't, but I will say that the audience reaction in the comment section under Trinmood's post was, ooh, had a different reaction. Now maybe what she could have done, seeing as that it's with e.l.f., it's a very affordable set. Maybe they could have made like one perfect shade for her, like her actual like wedding shade, but then kind of made other shades as well for like a lighter skin tone to a deeper skin tone, because right now this is not really flattering on anyone with a deeper skin tone. Personally, it's not, but like some of super light, fair skin tone, this might be pretty on you. Even for me, I don't think it'd be pretty for me. I think it's too pale. But one of the things I do want to point out though is the comment section talking about her. You know, they want to knock her shade. They want to talk shit about the shade all day. By all means, do it. But they're literally talking so much crap about her as a content creator, and I'm just not for that. Like, you may not, you don't have to like somebody, but to sit there and like degrade them and bully them and talk down to them online, it's just never cool because you know damn well you never say that to their face in person, and it's just really, really sad. And so I just, you know, I saw that and I was just kind of like, damn, like that's kind of like disappointing because I just wish that people would just make it about the makeup. I just wish that people would stop shaming the creator and just shame the shade range and the shade color if that makes any sense i'm not one to like ever degrade somebody online especially when you don't know them you don't know their story you don't know what's going on behind the scenes you just don't know you really don't know so um i saw that and i was just kind of really disappointed in the audience reaction and i just wish that maybe there was a little bit more handle on like how things are being posted and i wish trend trend mode would have like kind of not deleted but maybe done something i don't know but i saw that and i felt kind of bad but you know i do want to say congratulations to michaela selling out within less than an hour that's fantastic up next it looks like is amaya beauty is releasing the industrial collection so it's going to come with a lip plaque 2 2.0 maximizing lip serum an industrial color pigment palette for 115 dollars really expensive and then also industrial earrings for 155 dollars what the fuck that's so expensive this brand is just way too expensive for me personally. And like, I kind of want to know what the industrial steel is because like I got an industrial, I got, I got my industrial piercing. I got my, I got my bar piercing right here when I was 18 years old. Okay. I got this pierced and, um, it has been in my ear ever since I was 18, 18. I've never taken it out. except one time I did because I lost the back piece. It fell out and I had it close and I had it for out for a month. And then this back piece right here closed and I pushed it through and I re-pierced my ear and I've never taken it out since. I've literally, this is will be in my ear until forever. I don't even realize it anymore, I don't. So like, I love my industrial bar, I love my industrial piercing. $150 for like, what? this is insane. Now, I can't tell from the photo if this is like a gauged ear or not. Like, I really can't tell. I hope it would be, because if it's not, that's really expensive for what it is. $155, that's so expensive. Um, I'm going to pass on this brand. This brand just is way too expensive for my personal taste. I never try anything from them, but if they're obviously doing well, like, Hey, congratulations to them. But I'm still just, I'm floored. Like literally I'm floored by that. <laughs> it's crazy. Up next, it looks like rare beauty is releasing their fall collection. <laughs> we are starting to get into fall my favorite time of year okay so this is going to include a brow harmony precisely pencil with six shades and all the above weightless eyeshadow sticks for 22 and a perfect stroke long wear gel liner for 19 and a fresh dewy lip and cheek duo for 28 and i am so excited this collection will be li live as july 6th 
<clears throat> and I'm so excited, uh, not for this collection, because I'm not going to pick anything up, for, up from it, but just the fact that it's fall. It's their fall collection. You guys know that I have such a soft spot for fall, and my fall decorations are going up August 1st, and that really pisses a lot of people off because they're like, it's summer, it's not fall. Well, you know what, guys? I live in Florida. We don't have fall season here. Fall is just non-existent for us here in Florida. It's a wet or dry season. It's literally all it is. We don't get to see colors change, nothing. It is hot all the way up until Christmas. We don't have fall. So I'm going to embrace it when I can. The second that Michaels rolls out with their fall decor, I roll out with my fall decor. It's my favorite time of year. It's the only time I really get to like appreciate and love it. So yeah, just know August 1st, she's changing. So up next looks like Laura Mercier is releasing their own kind of like liquid contour sticks. They have a rose glow liquid highlighters. So they're a retail for $40 each. They're in three different, they're in three different shades and I'm going to pass on this. <laughs> they're literally just copying, you know, Charlotte Tilbury, Tarte, Elf, like everybody's doing this right now. It's a really big thing. I completely understand why they are, but yeah, that's a that's that's an easy easy pass. Up next, I I don't know who like I've never heard of this brand before, but Clio Cosmetics. I don't know if I'm saying that right. They did a collaboration with Minnie Mouse, and let me tell you guys, this is such a cute little collection. Yes, it's a neutral palette, which doesn't really make sense for like Minnie Mouse because Minnie Mouse is like black and red in white so it doesn't really make sense for it to be neutral but i will say the packaging is really cute i'm gonna pass on this but the packaging is super cute <laughs> i just i had to point that out next we have a new palette from shroud cosmetics it says hey hello say hello to the palette of your dreams inspired by the summer sunsets juicy peaches and daydreams this peaches and dreams palette features our signature velvet matte formula in five vibrant shades and five ultra shifty and ultra sparkly shimmers this actually does launch tomorrow at 12 p.m pacific standard time 3 p.m eastern standard time and i have to say this is such a cute like such a cute collection like this palette to me is just so freaking pretty like I kind of want it like I do I kind of want it I've only ever tried two palettes from Shaw Cosmetics and it was the collaboration with Batty Bean and it was her like you know it's freaking Bats palette and Hollow Bean palette love the formula love those two palettes so this is something that definitely intrigues me I might pick it up but like I don't know would you guys want to see a review would you guys want me to do a review or do you guys not care to see a review like, let me know what you guys think. I think it's a really pretty palette. And I just, I don't know. I kind of want it. I do. I kind of want it. Next, I'm kind of late to the party on this one. And I do apologize. But Gourmand Girls just released this past week a new palette. It's the Warriors Wear Pink collaboration with Sierra Soto. It launched on June 19th at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It does retail for $54.99. There's 12 mattes, three dual chromes, and one multi-chrome. You guys can actually use my code Allie, save you guys 10% off when purchasing anything from Gourmand Girls. I actually did get this palette in PR. I do intend to feature it for you guys and play with it, um, but I will say that I think this is a really cute um, collection they did because I really do love what they're actually representing because the co-creator with this like the, the content creator she did battle breast cancer and they're doing five percent the proceeds are going to go to help her cancer treatment and to pay for medical bills and i think it's really sweet that gourmand girls is actually doing that it's a really beautiful palette i definitely can't wait to play it with you guys play it for you guys i can't definitely can't wait to play it for you guys i definitely can't wait to play it with you guys so you guys can see how beautiful it is i love the spook palace the first palette i ever tried from them beautiful formula so i thought that was really cute last but not least we have the new blend bunny cosmetics this is the sugar and grunge palette right here now i just did a review on this yesterday for you guys if you guys want to go check it out i'll leave it linked down below this actually does retail for 41 dollars you guys can use code ally save you guys 10 percent off this palette you get 24 beautiful shades in here you get a little mix of pastels deep bold colors shimmers grungy colors i think it's a really gorgeous palette definitely a 90s throwback to me a lot of you guys said that it was kind of 90s but then like not kind of 90s i just love the names in here i think it's a really beautiful palette i think that maggie did such a gorgeous job with this i freaking love this palette like i said i did a whole review two different eye looks this actually does also launch tomorrow at 1 p.m eastern time that's gonna be 10 a.m pacific standard time and you guys definitely get if you guys want to pick this up you guys like i said can use my code very very gorgeous palette i had so much fun playing with this you guys know how much i love blend bunny cosmetics so much the formula is just chef's kiss so guys that is it for today's video oh wait i did forget one more thing now i don't know if it's still available hold up rewind okay rewind um it looked i wanted to point out because i said this early in the video why this video is coming out today and not tomorrow but let me check to make sure it's still available okay it, it is um still available so 
I just purchased, this got launched I think on Monday, the Secret Stash Summer Mystery Box from ColourPop. This is also live right now if you guys wanna get your hands on it. It does retail for $49. There's gonna be a $121 value and you guys best believe I picked that bad boy up. If you guys wanna get it, I'll have a link down below for you guys. I do not have a discount code with you know, ColourPop, but I know like Angelica does, Teresa does, I think Heather does. Like so many people out there have codes, Legionnaire. I do not, but if you guys wanna pick anything up now, if you guys wanna try out the mystery boxes, I love ColourPop mystery boxes. They're always so much fun. And yes, do I get duplicates? I do. I get duplicates all the time, but you know what? There's just something about a ColourPop mystery box that just gets me like so excited. I just love it. So yeah, that's also there too, if you guys wanna check that out. So. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post four to five videos every single week. Let me know down below what you guys found interesting this week. Were there new maker releases that you wanted or did you guys think this week is boring? Let me know. Also, if you guys did not know, I do have another channel. It's called R for Life where I do post weekly vlogs and my fun, amazing ventures with my amazing husband, Corey. And the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video bye